want to know about how to apply for UN certificate in DGCA here are the things you will need during the process you will need some photos of the UIB as front back and close up of the serial number some serial numbers of the UIB you are registering the specification sheet which you can get it from manufacturer or online and some miscellaneous items in this video from now onwards we'll go through a step-by-step -step method for generation of UN in EGCA start by clicking on services tab then drone services D2 services and here you'll see multiple options select application for unique identification number and will be directed towards the process now we'll be registering a non type certified UAP hence we'll select no over here as we scroll down we'll need to enter the manufacturer's name as we are using DJI Mavic Air 2S we'll be entering those details you'll find some difficulties in the model name just try various iterations and you'll get it right somehow then fill in the year of manufacturer in our case it's 2023 next is the category of UAS which will be selecting rotocraft as we are flying a quad subcategory is remotely piloted aircraft system RP Yes, class of US we select micro now why did we select that as we can google and see the weight of air to us is 595 grams which is about 250 grams and below 2 kgs it will come under micro now in your case it can be different the class of US can be categorized as nano micro small medium and large whereas in nano the weight is less than 250 grams in micro the weight ranges between 250 grams to 2 kgs in small it comes between 2 to 25 kgs in medium category it is within 25 kgs and 150 kgs and lastly the large which can weigh more than 150 kilograms as we are registering an exempted drone we no, won't be needing a serial number of, of type certificate so we can skip this enter the serial number of UAV which in our case can be found inside the battery slot of the drone serial number of flight control module which can be found in drone info tab and lastly serial number of remote pilot station this is your RC it can be found in same place as FCM and on the RC as well next we upload the required documents as suggested in the beginning of the video make sure you are prepared with the photos you will need three photos one with the front view, one with back view and a photo of close up of the serial number. Once you have all those, once you have all those convert them to PDF or you can keep them as JPGs, but the size should be less than 30 MBs. Here we upload the front, the back and the serial number. The drone acknowledgement number details are optional. The last date of DAN conversion was 2021. Maybe they have resumed. So if you have a UAV with Dan and want to get an UIN, fill it up and click next. Up next, we have additional details. For this, we will need the specification sheets as we are registering Mavic Air 2S in this video. We'll find the specification sheets online. A quick note, please fill these details carefully and you'll observe we have entered many incorrect values. Although I have rectified them later before submitting, as you can only change the details in D2 form and not the additional details. As we are ready with the spec sheets, we'll start entering the details. Number of motors, power ratings in watts, battery capacity, details of payload and any other details should be typed in letters and numbers as symbols are not allowed so no decimal points or commas. So details of payload and other written details should be typed in considering the format altitude to be entered in feet maximum all up weight is maximum carrying capacity of the drone at full load these are some safety features which you can select as applicable according to your uav so we do have everything except for the npnt feature so we'll ac select accordingly is it a prototype it is not so we can type na or no on to the next you won't be getting any transponders in this drone that can be different video overall regarding barometric equipment do we have it the answer is yes that's how we detect altitude changes 
ground control station software and frequency band of course no symbols over here operational envelope people do fly anytime anywhere endangering others and themselves unless they are trained to do so but we'll be selecting VLOS day as we strictly don't fly at night max rpm can be found in spec sheet gsm sim card rfid we don't have all this sim card slot no we have a memory card slots though which is never enough and our drone is still active and still in use now that everything is filled up we have not completed our transaction yet check the declaration fill up the necessary details and you can save it as a draft beyond this point once you hit submit everything is sealed make the changes needed you can preview the changes and click on submit it will direct you to the transaction process once you have done it you can check in d2 services you'll have your uin and its status as active if it doesn't show active check back later do check our videos regarding egca registration if you have found this video informative do like and share it with someone who could use it for any suggestions and queries do comment or dm thank you